After a couple of weeks break, it's nice to be out and about filming nature once again. And despite the rain, we're paying our first summertime visit to Kings Dyke Nature Reserve near Peterborough. We settle in the hide and watch this female tufted duck with her brood of ducklings. We've just had a week of hot weather and last Thursday was one of the hottest days ever recorded here in the UK. So it's nice to have some refreshing summer rain. You could call it weather for ducks. And as well as the tufted duck, they're a mallard. This male in eclipse plumage and a female. And yet another family of tufted duck. A female with another quite substantial brood. And we've counted around 13 or 14 common turn out there too. And it looks as though they're still nesting on some of the islands here. Also on view, a coot. And we're hopeful that a kingfisher may turn up. On our second time at the reserve, a kingfisher did visit this perch, albeit only for a few seconds. On the edge of one of the islands, we notice another duck. It's a male pochard. It's in breeding plumage, but there's no sign of a mate. The terns are very active. They're constantly flying around and then diving down and catching small silver fish. Earlier in the year, the islands had no vegetation on them and the ridge tiles put there as shelter for the nesting terns could be clearly seen. But now the islands are thick with vegetation and any tern chicks are well hidden, safe from predators. We've had momentary glimpses of fluffy little shapes coming to the edge of the islands but almost immediately head back into the undergrowth. To the right hand side of the hide is a feeding station and its various smaller visitors have just been seen off by this young female great spotted woodpecker. She looks a little bedraggled and scruffy, partly due to the rain, but also due to the fact that a lot of birds are now in molt. The woodpecker eventually leaves the feeders, allowing smaller birds like these great tip to come back in and feed. At last, the rain stops and the sound of the rain beating down is replaced by the clamour of common tern and water dripping from the trees onto the hide. The terns continue to sweep around, catching fish, bringing them to their chicks, well hidden in the vegetation. We scan the edge of the island, waiting for any chicks that may show themselves but none do. The feeding station has another scruffy looking customer, this time a male chaffinch. I have to say, I haven't seen that many chaffinches this year. The male pochard has taken to the water. They can be seen all year round in the UK, but are more common in the autumn and winter when large numbers arrive from Eastern Europe and Russia. Light rain begins to fall again, and another of the feeders is visited by Another male chaffinch, heavy in molt, but he'll soon have a pristine new set of feathers. The post behind the island is visited by this black-headed gull, and as well as tern chicks, the island is also home to these black-headed gull chicks. One of the chicks begs for food, but the parent bird has returned with nothing. The female great spotted woodpecker returns to the nut feeder, which once again it has to itself. As the rain eases once again, more birds appear like these male reed buntings. As I was busily filming these reed buntings, the kingfisher perch just below received a visitor, a kingfisher, but within a few short seconds it had been and gone, allowing me no time to film it, unfortunately. So we content ourselves with watching the female tufted duck as she brings her brood a little closer to the hide. And already they're learning to dive. It seems like faint wisps of mist are drifting across the reserve, but we can smell smoke 
and Kingsdyke is an ex clay pit and is still situated next to a working brickyard and as the wind has changed it sends smoke from the chimney drifting across the reserve. We decide to call it a day and the walk back to the car affords us views across the vast brickyard. And that's the end of a very pleasant morning spent here at Kingsdyke Nature Reserve in the rain. No kingfisher this time. Maybe our luck will be in on our next visit. See you soon. <laughs>